There's a smile in the morning. Who would have guessed? <laughs> Not what I expected to see. Oh, sweet, baby. <laughs> Missed a lot of trains. I think we got it now, though. Maybe. <laughs> Feel light now? You want me carrying your bags like a bag boy? boy. At least I look rich. <laughs> Is that what you carry these for? Yeah. Okay, stop filming because it was just, it was a shit show, let me be honest. Oh, we made it. Wait, have you boarded? <gasps> no. That's weird because that doesn't look like a flight. Definitely not going to London. Let me check my app. Oh, this is C. Oh, well that makes sense. So where's D? D, you said left and it was supposed to go right. Dang it. <laughs> My bad. But we, got for the day. we made it to the airport, which is good. It's been a long morning. What time? We, we woke up at 4, 4.20. Four it's 9 o'clock. So, that's actually 5 hours. Okay, good to meet you, man. Yeah, safe travels. Things are going smooth so far though. For how long this day has been, usually we've fought, yelled at each other, <laughs> ignored each other, Tars walked away. Because we started our day off with a kiss. We did start our day off with a kiss. We need to do that more often. Yeah, we do. Um, but it's good. We're, we're on our way. We're keep you updated. Okay, update. We made it to the correct side of the airport and we're getting on the flight. I got a pickle. Say. Me. Flight was delayed a few times, but we've made it. Yeah, they didn't have any spicy chips here at all. Yeah. What'd you think about these? Dude, they destroyed my stuff. Oh, that was the day of the trap. Yeah, no. Not good. Not ideal. Dude, this we were trying to get on the plane, and <laughs> by the way, people like on planes are just like so egotistical. Like, oh, my morning on my seat. We're standing there waiting in line patiently, and this woman just walks right in front of us. The tar goes, I'm so tired, people. And she turns to Tara and goes, Did I just cut you off? And uh, Tara goes, uh, Yeah, you did. And um, then she just proceeds to continue cutting, like, there's nothing. She's like, oh, I'm sorry, and then just kept going. <laughs> well, not that sorry, but anyways, not a big deal, but kind of funny. Kind of silly people, funny. All right, back to the States. As you can tell, we are not in Germany. European tour got cut a little short, but... It got cut short by 60s. We'll get to that later. If you guys haven't seen the rest of the European tour videos, you can go watch them. I think there's four. And they're really fun. Unfortunately, what, what did I say? We got back, and then I had two days, and I went to New York, mm -hmm. and then I had two days, mm -hmm. and then I went to Utah, mm -hmm. and then I got back yesterday at 2 a.m., mm -hmm. and then tomorrow I leave for Paris. So... For three weeks. I'm pretty exhausted. Both of us are pretty exhausted. We woke up at like 1 p.m. yesterday. I just woke up. Me too. I don't know what hour it is. Uh, and um, it's 
instead of hanging out and relaxing, I have to drive to an hour and a half away to go get my legs. IOC certified. POC. POC. People of color. What does that mean? Who's, what's POC certified? I thought like Paralympic. Oh. Paralympic <laughs> Olympic Committee. Oh. But it's just the IOC. Yeah, that's true. Oh. Okay. You make me look big. <laughs> you look big? Yeah, because you like can't hold me. <laughs> you can't hold me. You're way longer heavier than me. No, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, see? It's not even one second. <laughs> I'm tired of you leaving me. I'm tired of leaving you. Hurry. Okay, I'm gone. Fall is here, hear the yell. Back to school, ring the bell. Brand new shoes. Made it to Fort Smith. This prosthetic right here is clear. I had to knock out all this plaster. And um, now I gotta finish this one up. Oh yeah. Been at this for like an hour and a half or so. Hard work. Getting close though, I'm excited to go. I walked outside and this is like the scariest thing I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this is capturing this, but <laughs> I wasn't even gonna video that far. Oh, good. <laughs> no, I am now. No, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard that. Uh, I was showing that we were packing. I'm packing, packing for Paris. There's my. Uh, P for P. Yeah, there's my suitcase there. We're almost done. <clears throat> Um, it's not a one-person thing, it's a team effort. Yeah, we need everybody on board for this. Oh, you want to see my new legs? Oh, yeah. I want to, I think they know you're Huh? My other so small. Yeah, but the, at least this is longer. Hold it, pick it up. Oh, it's heavy. Does it feel heavier? Yeah. Is it lighter? No. It's, it's heavier. heavier? No, it feels way heavier. Yeah, okay. Why? Because they had to refabricate. This is all new carbon fiber. Why didn't they do the bottom part? I don't know. I'm going to try to grind these down and make them weigh a little less. They weigh half a pound more each. That's a lot. That's a lot. Lots of them. I don't know. It's a risk I had to take. I didn't really know that was going to happen. Well. Well. Come back over here. <laughs> this video. Oh, it's just right. Huh? That just stressed me out. Again, it wasn't stress. I'm sure. really depressed. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, it's funny. It's, it's a good one. Yeah, a good one. Why are you depressed? We're doing it for the greater good. <laughs> oh, what greater good? Okay, let's do this. Tara's been wanting to do this all day. What are you doing? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I'm stopping this. Stop. And you're gonna stop it and make it a different Watch, way. Watch, I'll, I'll tee it up the good way. Um, this is our... <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been there for six months. Yeah, we've had this Eight for months. six months. Eight Wait, months. October, Since the wedding, yeah. November, December, January, February, March, April, May. June. Yeah, eight months. It's July. Months. We're almost out of July. So nine months. Yeah. We've been married for nine months. Almost. I looked at the date on the 24th and I was like, shit. <laughs> we missed the 16th again. 
I'm really the worst. We're the worst. We're the worst. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we, we take a shot when good things are happening. We're not just, we're not drunks. And nothing good. <laughs> Which is like, it's our last day. It's our last day here together. So that's. Like, Listen, this is what the W. This is W. We've shown it before. It's been in the same, the same bottle as before. Um, our agent slash manager got us a new bottle for something super cool that we can't wait to announce. But. <laughs> Yeah, this <laughs> I didn't want to shoot any of this because she thought it made us look like alcoholics and we were just like douche, douche. making it worse. No, man. no, but we we'll grab that day. That is um, thank you, Adam. Yes. Adam, our besties, our manager, got us another bottle for something that we have accomplished together. Um, he thought we were out of this one, so to be fair we're not. We didn't want to break his little heart, so now we have to finish the bottle. <laughs> no, it's just a celebratory shot. We've had a really long, rough day, and um, I need this. So Thanks. this is what happens when you get an adult. Like that's why our parents drink so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> In our Discovery Princess <laughs> on our cruise, cruise ship shot glasses. Uh, Alright, mm. um, to finishing in this world championship tour off strong. Yeah. As it gets. <laughs> yeah, not great. All right, let me show you how we're packing. Yeah, that one was a little rough. It's been getting worse because we've been gone for pretty much like three months straight. <laughs> um, all of our clothes are dirty, anyways. So these are like clothes that are clean and folded that didn't make it in the suitcase, didn't make it, but haven't been hung up. Have been hung up. I did mine yesterday and it was um, scary. Yeah? Truthfully. Yeah, this has been a scary week in general. And then here's my suitcase. About ready to go. Here's all my Lululemon stuff, the things that I've chosen to bring. And this side has all my Team USA stuff that I'm forced to bring. Just you look in there, it's a scary scene. This is actually, like, it's been scarier, okay? Listen, folks, uh, I, that's just really embarrassing. It's fine. Don't go in there. Please don't no, go in I'm not in going there. in there. I'm just switching sides. Go. Yeah, we've been wanting to, like, fix stuff in our home, but it's just, like, we're just never home to do yeah. it. We really want to, um, basically just, like, take everything out. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Ex even the couch, actually. I was going to say, except for the couch, but I want that couch gone. Mm -hmm. um, why? Because we want something different. Yeah. I mean, what we have now is nice, but I just feel like. Less, less things. Yeah. Like, we have a lot of space to, like, collect clutter. And I'm like. The clutteriest person yeah, ever. Yeah, you are. I'm like, I'm not messy. I'm, I have like clutter, and I think it's like my ADHD. Like I have piles of things, <laughs> and I know where each pile is, and I, it's my pile. Um, but I'm like, Hunter has to clean every, like he has to have a clean space. Yeah. But I'm like, clutter. Yeah, very. Did you want to show off our plants? We haven't showed them off in so long. No. <laughs> <laughs> You are the funniest person I know. Oh my god. Okay. This has kind of been cleared out. Yes. 
Uh, I've been like, since I've been back, I've been like having like weird hallucinations of like what I want my plant life to look like. Look like I want it more organized, but still like full. So there was a situation that was happening here where we had a pothos that was just like sprawled everywhere. And it, it was, was my first plant ever. First plant ever. But we couldn't like, I don't think it was, it was growing a lot, but I think it has more opportunity to grow because I was sitting here. Um, if it were to be trailing or hanging from a higher spot. And then we also had a really, really big palm plant sitting right here, which like everyone just like bumped into and I don't think it really liked it because it kind of like, you'll see in a second. But this plant has like thrived in the last couple of months. Um, look how big, <laughs> so big, look at that, cute. Um, I think when I come back from all of our world tours and stuff, I'm gonna put like a moss pole in there and like push them together so it kind of be like clumpy. Mm -hmm. Cletus. This is Cletus, this was my first ever play. <laughs> um, he is like, survived. He's really turned a leaf. No pun intended. <laughs> He's done like outstanding things. Um, <laughs> He's like we're talking about children. He, he is like <laughs> the firstborn. Um, I love him. He's changed colors multiple times. Come, 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 come. Come, come, come. come. This was his first color, that dark, dark green. Mm -hmm. Um, like, and now he's this like light green. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty cool, and he's growing light green, like even lighter greens. Mm. Yes, this is my uh, in the middle of the night clean up plant situation where I took a Casamigos bottle <laughs> that we finished. Babe. <laughs> it's fine. Um, and a gnat actually got into the into the tequila when I was like this way full, and I was like, I can't. I can't finish that tonight. Mm. So, so you I, poured it out. I poured it out. Responsible. I didn't finish it. Yeah. Unfortunately. Um, so now it's my propagation station. Um, and I think it's really cute. Do you like it? I do. Yeah, it's actually really cool. There's two plants in here. I don't know what this plant is, but this is in my pothos that came from over there. Just this gogo right here. The plants are like... Okay, so last summer... I freaked up. I freaked up real bad and I put the plants outside in the scorching hot summer mm -hmm. and I placed them on there's like railings on the outside of our porch mm -hmm. and they burn. <laughs> this crisped up. This is Hunter's rubber tree. Yeah. He's been through the ringer as well and he gets leaves. It's doing great now though. Yes, these these leaves right here, this one, this one. This one, this one. All new. These it was two. staggered for a while. Yeah. Now it's starting to grow again. We and these shells it. are from Cabo? Uh, Hawaii. Hawaii. We have like a bunch of like, this is fake right here. Just, you know, give it like some white over here. And this is my pompous. I love pompous. This right here. <laughs> is my pretty boy. So these are spot. Hunter and I's biggest pothos. I had one, he had one. Mine's bigger. It definitely is bigger. Um, I'm not really sure why. Because I'm better. Okay. <laughs> but I want them to be trailing, like in this corner. Mm -hmm. So I'm working on that. I want them to go on the freaking roof, like the ceiling and everything, like and all of that. This is the guy that was being murked every time someone walked by him. Like every time someone punched him in the freaking face basically so this has been growing this little leaf has been growing for like four months now has not done anything i don't know why but it's fine this fiddle tree apparently you gotta shake it because that's its natural environment so when yeah apparently it likes when you shake a little bit it needs to be repotted I just haven't gotten the chance to, and pots are very, very expensive. Yeah, they are. These are a little collection from Lowe's. <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. Uh, 
This little variegated pothos, so cute. This variegated pothos. Um, ever since I put it in this spot, I'm not gonna lie, it's been growing normal leaves. Variegation means that they're deprived from light, but can still grow. I just have no idea. I got it because it was pink, but it's a freak. It like reaches for the sun in different directions. I think it needs to be bottom fed water, but there's no hole. Mm-hmm. We have another Z plant in here who's just freaking thriving. You see that? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna water plants tomorrow, I guess. Everyone's screaming at me. Yeah, this is Tara. She set this whole little thing up. It's got I all built it. it. Hunter helped me just like a teeny tiny bit, but I built it all myself. Yeah. I got my Lego plant in there that Tara got me for my birthday. My actual propagation station is on fire right now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's killing it. Look at those guys. This plant I've had for... Since I was in Austin. Yeah, shout out Claudia and Jake. And it died. <laughs> multiple times and so it was literally on its like last leaf there we go um and so i decided i'm like you know what i'm not going to throw it away i'm going to propagate it don't throw your plants away you can almost propagate every single plant even if it's dead and now it's starting to grow it's actually growing leaves right there like what who would have thought this guy is gonna be repotted maybe when I get back from Worlds. Same with this one. And this guy has some time. Yeah. And I just did this one because it fell off one of the pots. One of those ones I was trying to hang up. Are you ready for the grand finale? <laughs> Introducing Vera. Is that her name her? Yeah. Okay. She is a Variegated Monstera, which is called a Thai constellation, right? Yeah, like or an Albo. No, it's not, it's an Albo one. Yeah. yeah. She's Albo. And Hunter got her for me for my 24th birthday, and I'm just so happy. And she's already growing a little baby. Dude, that's so big. Yeah, that's huge. Thanks for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> She's so nice. We love her. Yeah. <clears throat> her name's Vera. Because she's variegated. Isn't that cute? Look how cool this leaf is. It's not set it on fire. Yeah. I'm going to cry. She's not cheap. So we got to treat her like she's a queen of herself that she is. But all of our plants get treated like queens and kings as they are. As they should. But all my other plants, they kind of just like vibe. I think we have good vibes in the house, so they don't really like <clears throat> die. <laughs> <laughs> I have brought, like, there have been some like weeping leaves for sure around here. But we brought them back to life for the bend. Everything's last. doing it. This is new. Is this two different plants? No, it's the it same. Just it just like doesn't. A monstera. No, it's a monstera. It just doesn't fully separate? Yeah, because they've been like deprived for their lives, I think. Don't quote me on that. But it's root bound, so the roots are coming out of it. And then I'm going to repot it. Look at that. Yeah, it's going crazy. So I saved this little guy from Lowe's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why the plant tour started, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's one of the few things we get to enjoy when we're back home. It's one of my few things I'm really excited to talk about. Yeah. I don't really like to talk about anything. <laughs> but, but like, green, that will get me. Green plants get us going. That will. <laughs> and <laughs> a lot of people asked about the dogs. Um, the dogs, because we're gone for so long, are staying at Mama and Papa Steve's in Utah. For with summer parents. camp. Their annual summer camp. They're there for summer camp. We miss them so awfully much but my mom sends a lot of pictures and videos which is nice every day i asked for them but yeah and um they love hanging out there so they obviously love us more but but they get to like 
go explore. Like they have this like big plot of land and they have a beautiful view. It's nice weather. It's not too hot for them. Like they, bougie summer camp. Yeah. <laughs> and they have been taught not to jump on couches, which I'm like super, super excited about because I really, really want a new couch. Um, but Winnie, freaking, if you know Winnie, she jumps on the couch constantly. It's because she's trying to cuddle with daddy. And this she guy loves when she's on the couch, and I just can't stand it, but it's fine. I love being on the couch, so it makes sense that <laughs> she would enjoy it. You I, love the couch. I do, but... We'll see how true it is when they get back home. I, I feel really, like really, back really home want... Like, oh, I'm home! Like, back to my crib! Yeah, yeah, she's Mess definitely going to jump on the up. couch as soon as she gets here. But I really want a white or tan couch. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like totally impossible with Winnie. With Milo, I feel like Milo's a like a clean boy. Like he doesn't like to go in the mud, doesn't like dirt, doesn't like grass. Winnie? <laughs> yeah. And then. She's an adventurous girl. Um, all right, well, we're going to enjoy the rest of the evening. And pack the rest of your stuff. Yeah, probably be back tomorrow at some point. Oh, that was nice. That actually made me... That was the first bit of happiness I've had in a while. <laughs> um, okay. Time to take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put that in there. Oh, yeah, I'm putting that in there. Good morning. It's my last day here. I leave in four hours. I gotta leave here. It's been really hard. Pretty good way to start the day. Same, same. But different. Oh, that's so cute. Golly, you got a lot of stuff. That's fire. I think they spoil us. They do spoil us. It's crazy. <laughs> Alright, we gotta practice at 11. 10.51. Well. Oops. Got all my things. Understand how I don't understand how people do business traveling. They always have to leave their significant It's pretty trash to be honest, but part of it we're gonna meet back together hopefully sometime around July seventeenth. That's in three weeks. That hurt a little bit. <laughs> Um, but yeah, not really a lot we can do, just kind of got to deal with it, um, and, uh, yeah. It's like my coach sent my husband off to war. <laughs> I'm going off to war. Kinda. Low key. Also, we said we'd talk about it, but, um, the reason that we cut the... European tour short is kind of because of this. You see, we just don't have enough time being home. And we had a few things we needed to get back to and just exhausted. I didn't know it was gonna be like this. Why is my skin doing this? Probably because I'm stressed. Same queen. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Probably, I don't know if there's gonna be any more in it, but I'm already starting to sweat. Ah, it's hot. It's how freaking hot it is out here. Um, wish you gusto. Thank you. Subscribe if you haven't already. I need that.